Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to install PyHall, a personal ad blocker to your home network using a Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi OS. So first of all what you're going to need is a Raspberry Pi obviously and SD card to install the operating system on and a Raspberry Pi OS. Optionally you will uh, need to have a keyboard and a mouse and a monitor but it is not a must if you're going to run this system headless you can just uh, use the putty application to log in onto your raspberry pi operating system using ssh so today i'm going to show you the headless operation uh, if you are going to use a monitor then uh, you can do the same things that i'm going to show you now on the de desktop interface as well the only difference will be uh, having a desktop interface so first of all what you're going to need is the raspberry pi operating system itself so you need to go to the raspberrypi.org uh, website and you will need to download a compatible operating system with your raspberry pi uh, device so i have downloaded the raspberry pi os lite version because i'm going to run the la headless operations on my raspberry pi so i have already downloaded it if you if you need the desktop interface you can either download the desktop uh, operating system with the recommended softwares or just the desktop operating operating system so in my case i have already downloaded it so as you can see here this is my uh, raspberry pi light op operating system so first of all what you need to do is uh, if you have downloaded it you will need to uh, open the win32 disk image so using this application i'm going to uh, write my operating system which is the raspberry pi light os onto the uh, usb sd card so i have already plugged in my sd card if you can see here this is my sd card i have plugged into the uh, usb adapter and i'm going to select the drive so it is already selected and i'm going to select the operating system which is on my desktop and you need to press right Now as the write is successful, what we need to do is we need to open up uh, uh, my computer and go to the boot drive and here we need to create a document uh, and name it as SSH but without any extensions. By doing so, uh, I am able to enable uh, SSH by booting up the Raspberry Pi. So it's much more easier for me uh, so that I don't need to plug in a monitor to the device every time uh, when I boot up the Raspberry Pi uh, to en log in onto the terminal interface. So after doing this, just unplug your uh, USB drive from the uh, computer and plug in the use plug in the SD card onto uh, your Raspberry Pi. Turn on the uh, Raspberry Pi and uh, keep uh, give it a few seconds or a few minutes uh, to boot up first and afterwards go onto your router and see what IP is uh, given to your Raspberry Pi from your home router. Now as a few minutes have passed I'm going to log in onto my router's interface and let's see whether we have got an IP to our Raspberry Pi device. Still we haven't got any which means the Raspberry Pi is still loading up and as you can see here the Raspberry Pi has loaded up and the host name is given to us and uh, as well as the IP address. By using this IP address we can just uh, log into the terminal interface using putty application uh, without having to plug in the monitor. So I'm going to copy this IP address and I'm going to open putty on my PC. So after opening up putty i am going to select ssh and i am going to paste this ip address and click open you will get this message you can just press yes and here you will be uh, getting the login interface by default the login username and password will be pi and rasp 
berry so I have been logged into the terminal interface of my Raspberry Pi so here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the command to install uh, PyHole which is the application we are going to use uh, to block all the ads and things that we get from other websites so first of all we need to get the command so I'm going to go to the PyHole website which is pyhole.net so from the website what we need to do is we need to install rather PyHole onto the uh, Raspberry Pi so to do that we, need, we are going to click install PyHole and we will get, we will be taken onto a github page and from here we are going to copy curl ssl https this bash command and copy this one go to the terminal interface paste it and press enter So as you can see from here, uh, PyHole is being installed and currently the packages are being extracted from GitHub and uh, it will take some time to load. Uh, let's uh, time lapse uh, into the uh, ending part of PyHole's interface. So from here they are asking us to configure the PyHole's interface. So it says the installer will transform your device into a network wide ad blocker. So press OK. So it says PyHole is free but powered by donations. Just press OK. Uh, the PyHole is a server so it needs a static IP address to function properly. So in this uh, place you need to decide an IP address to give to your PyHole Raspberry Pi device. So first make sure the IP address that you're gonna give is not affected to other devices if, uh, if so please uh, make sure to give an IP address which is not affecting to others and uh, which is unique to your own uh, PyHole ad blocker so in this next selection you are uh, you can choose to use a current network settings DHCP or to manually edit them so best case scenario is to use a static IP address so I'm gonna press OK so here you can select a DNS server so this uh, option is for the Raspberry Pi ad blocker to get uh, websites uh, information from so in my case I'm just going to select Google DNS but uh, after this configuration if you need to change this you are able to change it from the web interface as well so here they're asking us the malware domains and the lists so these are the two default lists just uh, make sure to press OK so here uh, select protocols press uh, space to toggle the selections so they're asking whether to block ads over IPv4 and IPv6 if you are using IPv6 it is best to use that if not you can just leave it uh, disabled uh, in my case I am just going to leave it uh, turned on so here they're asking uh, us whether we need to use the current network IP address as the static uh, I'm just saying no because I need to change this IP address and I'm going to give 192.168.0.190 uh, so slash 24 okay so the default gateway of my network is 192.168.0.1 and that's also okay and here we can verify the settings so my device IP address is 192.168.0.190 slash 24 and the gateway is 192.168.0.1 so after those informations are okay with you press yes so here they are asking uh, whether to install the web admin interface definitely we need to have this one to configure it's much more easier press ok um, here are also the web server parts and everything else just press ok and to log uh, queries as well press ok and the privacy modes and everything else just uh, show everything so 
from that option you are able to monitor everything in the network so that's the default one just uh, keep it as it is and press ok now it will take some time to uh, complete the installation process so hold back and relax and i will get you uh, to the end uh, by a time lapse So the configuration is done now and uh, it shows the IP for address for my web, web terminal interface and view the web interface at uh, pyhole or pyhole.go uh, admin and uh, your admin web page login password is olf underscore yew3 so initially you will need to uh, know this password I'm just going to copy this uh, if not I'm uh, just going to remember this uh, oh, I'm just going to copy it to a, a page. Mm, sorry. Uh, so here, and now press OK. You can change the password after logging onto the web terminal, but uh, for now I'm just going to copy it and press OK. If you forgot to uh, copy the password, you can change it uh, by uh, some commands. Uh, I will leave it in the description below uh, so if so you can just re refer to it or else you can use the password which is given to you and log into the terminal so as the installation is completed I'm just going to give it a reboot so it's uh, much more okay so sorry mm. So now the Raspberry Pi is rebooting and after the reboot we will be able to log into the um, Pi Hall terminal page. So let's just try to log in and I'm just going to type 192.168.0.190 that is my Raspberry Pi terminals interface IP and uh, so still it's, uh, it's loading the reason is still the Raspberry Pi device is turning on and as you can see we are taken to the page. Uh, so just click here to go to the admin panel and now you have been taken to the admin panel and log in here and for the password we need to give uh, the password which we just got from the interface if you forgot to change the copy the password you can just uh, say use this command to change it or just completely remove it so I will leave this uh, in the description below so that you can uh, use this to change or completely remove the password so the password of for my device is this one I'm just going to copy this now and paste it here and login in now as you can see we have been taken to the pie holes interface so now there are some things you need to configure in your home router first of all so that is this IP address which is the pie holes IP address should be uh, typed onto the DHCP server's uh, DNS option. So just copy this IP address and log in onto your router and go to the LAN options of your router or the DHCP uh, IP options and you need to replace the primary DNS IP address with the Raspberry Pi Pi Holes IP. So in my case I'm going to replace the 192.168.0.190 IP address here in this primary DNS option and just press OK. Now uh, all the traffic uh, which is uh, for, um, connected to the router is uh, forwarded onto my Raspberry Pi Pi Hole device and will be filtered from it and then only the other requests will be given back to the other devices. So and other than that that's all to configure and additionally you can just uh, change the other settings as well if you go to settings here you are able to give custom DNS server IP addresses and uh, if you need to just use another DHCP server you can just disable your home router's DHCP server and you can directly run a DHCP server off the uh, PyHole server itself uh, if you want to do so uh, so the option is available there and if you need to add a new at list you can just uh, add them here 
so the default ones are these two so if you need to add uh, other uh, more kinds of uh, ad blockers or uh, other url blockers or say for some unwanted website like that you can just add them here um, and other than that that's all so thank you guys for watching i hope this video is uh, very informative to you all and if you have uh, have more questions just uh, you can just leave it on the say the comment section below and i hope you like this video and subscribe my channel and i hope uh, you help me to go to thousand subscribers as well and see you guys later and thank you if you have more uh, questions please leave a comment down below so thank you and have a nice day